football is a privilege, not a right. And I, I don't take it for granted anymore. Going out there, hanging out with the guys, to be able to hit again, the crowd, the energy, everything is therapy for me. This team has helped me so much mentally and emotionally. They probably even saved my life. Early in 2014, Michael Sam was weeks away from the NFL draft. He is taken down by Michael Sam. After a senior year at Missouri, that saw him named the SEC Co-Defensive Player of the Year. Taken down for a loss by Michael Sam. And on Sunday, February 9th, he sat down with me and did the unprecedented. Why are you the right person? to be in the spotlight at this moment. I'm not afraid to tell the world of who I am. I'm Michael Sam, I'm a, a, a college graduate, I'm African-American, and I'm gay. The NFL had never had an openly gay player and had never drafted one. Thank you so much. Thank you, Chris. Right after we talked, Chris, that next day, I went back to Missouri and started to, to train for the uh, combine. I had so many people contacting my agents, and it's like, oh my God, he's like a hero. All I did was just come out. No offense, I wasn't doing it for you. Uh, I was just me owning my own truth. But you were a hero for so many people. What's that like? I think it's a, it's, as a burden, because I honestly felt like I'd done anything special. The drama built as the NFL draft drew closer. Then, with just eight picks left in the seventh and final round, he would be selected by the St. Louis Rams. This has been a whole speculation of the first openly gay football player, but you know what, it's not about that. It's about playing football. Can Michael Sam play football? And yes, I can. He'd notched three preseason sacks for coach Jeff Fisher but was cut before the regular season began. Coach Fisher called me and said, and Mike, we're going to have to let you go. And it was, I was hurt. Why do you think you got cut from the Rams? The Rams didn't need me. They were already loaded at D-line. Why did they draft you then? My own opinion, it just would have looked good for me to be in Missouri. I played at University of Missouri. It's only two hours away, so it looked good. Do you think the NFL had some role in St. Louis drafting you? Of course, they had some type of role. Whatever role, what that may be, I'm not sure. In those meeting rooms, during that time, I was, I was talked about. Fisher would later deny that the NFL played any role in Sam's being drafted by the Rams. Dallas picked him up, but the Cowboys never took him off their practice squad. He'd never play a down in a regular season NFL game. A year later, he'd play in just one game for the Montreal Alouettes of the Canadian Football League. You stepped away for what I think you referred to as mental health issues. Yes. What was going on with you then? I was depressed. I wasn't earning the guy's respect. I started drinking during the week. I've never done that before. Going out more I had relationship troubles, my fiance, we called off our engagement. What was depression like for you to deal with? That was an ongoing battle. It was like a roller coaster. I started feeling sorry for myself. I was in LA without a structured job. That was the first time I, I experienced drugs. And um, after four or five months being in LA, I stepped away. I didn't know, it was like, who is this guy anymore? After leaving back in 2015 and thinking that it was over, I kind of went in a journey of, of depression and trying to figure out what's next for Michael Sam. That journey has led Michael Sam, now 32, back to football, here in Spain, with the Barcelona Dragons of the European League of Football. He first signed on as an assistant defensive line coach before a roster slot opened and he became a player instead. I just 
saw this as a opportunity. Someone mentioned football, and I was like, okay, this is something I could get behind. And first day of camp, uh, I came in here too hot too. Uh, my my energy and intensity was like they thought I was I, I was crazy. I'm glad that I have both ways of being a coach and a player. Now they know what we're talking about, playing with our hands, playing down the line of scrimmage. On a Saturday evening in July, the Dragons take the field before about a thousand fans to battle the winless Istanbul Rams. The Dragons are the league's surprise success story. Strong showings tonight could someday mean more opportunities for Sam's teammates. But as a player himself, Michael Sam says this is the end of the line. This is it. Whether it's, it's this season or next two seasons, wherever, this is my high rise of playing professional football. The D-line dominates in a 41-7 win. Amid the joy of victory and the question of what might have been, the journey of Michael Sam continues. To be here, Chris, is, is unbelievable. I've been in dark places. Uh, I've come out of dark places. I love this game with all my heart. Everything I have right now, everything I've had, and everything I will have, is because of this game. 